uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody. Good day, Andrew. Unless we harness the potential of every American and ensure that their skills match up to the work of the future. We cannot sustain... Oops. Was that my... Uh... Oh, goodness. That's all right. All of you know who I am. But I'm sure there's somebody back there that's really nervous right now. <laughs> Don't you think? They're sweating bullets back there right now. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Could someone back there please uh, turn off the president's mic? I think the, the president's mic is hot. Please, please turn it off. Thank you. Thank you. Great. I got to get warmed up. I, I'm so in love. God, I, I totally had that. Seriously, guys, what am I doing here? I'm the President of the United States, and I'm opening for Jimmy Kimmel? I have the nuclear codes. Why am I telling knock-knock jokes to Kim Kardashian? Why is she famous anyway? That's it. Next year, we send Biden. No, you're right. That's way too risky. Wow, look at my hair. I really went gray. Do you think anybody would notice if I just went a little darker? Right now, I'm like a, a five on the just for men scale. I think I could go to six and, and nobody'd notice. Is the teleprompter working? Are you kidding? What do you expect me to do out there? I literally have no idea what I'm saying tonight. Man, I could really use a cigarette right now. Okay, okay, I'm going. God forbid we keep Chuck Todd and the cast of Glee waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President of the United States. Four years ago, I was locked in a brutal primary battle with Hillary Clinton. Four years later, she won't stop drunk texting me from Cartagena. Four years ago, I looked like this. Today, I look like this. <laughs> and four years from now, I will look like this. <laughs> That's not even funny. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand with me and raise your glasses as I propose a toast. To Her Majesty the Queen, to the vitality of the special relationship between our peoples, and in the words of Shakespeare, to this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. To the Queen. We don't joke about that, huh? <laughs> That's not funny. Disneyland, which was big. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a lot of points for that. Uh, as, as a kid, you responded the way kids uh, respond to that? Yeah, Dave, I mean, you know. Kids in Hawaii, they, they know about Mickey Mouse and I things like that. I don't know. Just checking. Yeah.
Yeah, it's, it's Disneyland, man. I mean, they, <laughs> you know, kids like that. I, I right. don't know what it's like in Hawaii. I don't know what's going on over there. So, what well, do you think? We went, we went and kind of looked around and said, what the heck is this? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> How are, how, how are the girls? They just started school? The girls, the girls just started school. Um, you know, they, they, they started late uh, at, at the school where they go. So uh, I, my, Malia's started fifth grade and Sasha started second. And uh, I'm not, I don't think Malia wanted me to walk her mm -hmm. to the class. Right. Because fifth grade is kind of a big deal. You, uh, she gets a combination lock now. Oh, yeah. So she had gone to practice the combination lock. and. And so her father there was generally an embarrassment, but um, <laughs> but uh, I didn't I didn't care. Yeah, so that's right. I, uh, yeah. So now let me. Uh, uh, yeah. Clay Farnsworth, what is the cure for amnesia? <laughs> well, uh, Obamacare covers pre-existing conditions. Wow. So, Clip showing the subtle difference between Gordon Brown and Barack Obama. Here they are arriving at number ten and. Uh, Look at this lucky policeman gets to shake hands with the President of the United States. Oh, and here comes the Prime Minister of the... Mm. No. <laughs> at least he resisted doing that, to be fair. I feel uh, right at home here because it's often been said that I share the politics of Alfred E. Smith and the ears of Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> Uh, recently, one of John's uh, top advisors told the Daily News that if we keep talking about the economy, uh, McCain's going to lose. So tonight, I'd like to talk about the economy. <laughs> I uh, asked the question, who is Barack Obama? Now, I have to admit, I was a little surprised by this question. Uh, the answer is right there on my Facebook page. Contrary to the rumors that you've heard, I was not born in a manger. I was, I was actually born on Krypton and sent here by my father, Jor L, to save the planet Earth. And I got my middle name from somebody who obviously didn't think I'd ever run for president. <laughs> Greatest weakness, uh, it's possible that I'm a little too awesome. <laughs> First of all, my middle name, it's not what you think, it's actually Steve. That's right, Barack Steve Obama. <laughs> there was a point in my life when I started palling around with a pretty ugly crowd. I've got to be honest, uh, these guys were serious deadbeats. They were low lifes. They were unrepentant. No good punks. That's right. I've been a member of the United States Senate. <laughs> so in love. 